Julia Gillard's making sure history doesn't repeat itself with her government when her government pours billions of dollars into flood and cyclone reconstruction. Learning lessons from the school building and home insulation schemes, she's appointed new watchdogs to keep an eye on disaster repairs. Tony Abbott says it's an admission the government can't control money. From Canberra, Chief Political Correspondent Mark Simkin. Back to Canberra, back to business. We uh, need to get underway. So... Cabinet members were buoyed by part of the latest news poll. It suggests 55% of people support the flood levy, 41% back the opposition's opposition. I think the real question is, do people trust this government not to waste taxpayers' money? Uh, that's the real question, and I noticed that that wasn't put. It's a question the government's keen to answer. Commonwealth reconstruction money will have strings attached and a special oversight body will be set up. Former Howard Government Minister John Fay will have the power to inspect rebuilding projects, check accounts and investigate complaints. As Prime Minister, I want to make sure that every dollar we spend on rebuilding from the floods and the cyclone is a dollar that gets value for money. Julia Gillard's trying to insulate herself from the criticisms of pink bats, green loans and school halls. I do acknowledge that I've learned some things. Addressing his own troops. OK, gentlemen, ladies, team, bit of shush. Tony Abbott argued the government's learnt nothing. Today, they have effectively accepted that they can't be trusted by mon with money. Shadow Cabinet discussed alternatives to the flood levy, debating $1.8 billion in budget savings. Some of the cuts being considered include foreign aid to Africa, assistance to the car industry, Murray-Darling water buybacks and school halls projects. Labor's looking for its own budget savings to fund the cyclone clean-up. Welfare cuts are being considered, and that's causing division in caucus. The baby bonus and the uh, uh, family payments to third and subsequent children, uh, these are areas of uh, middle-class largesse that were introduced by the Howard government basically as vote-buying measures. I note that the uh, budget-guessing game has started a little bit early. A game with 12 weeks left to play. Mark Simpkin, ABC News, Canberra.